What is going on guys? This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. I'm here with Shane, the Techno Director here at RBH Sound. We're upstairs in their two channel listening room full of unrivaled series speakers. And uh, just taking a look around, there's a lot of, I'll say history with some of the um, older speakers that you guys uh, engineered as well. So if you want to just take us around, show me what all is in here. This, again, like you said, is our uh, premier two-channel listening space that we uh, do most of our two-channel uh, demos in. And we start off here with our legacy product. It's our Status Acoustics 8T. So this was a product that was designed in the early 2000s and is just, again, the pinnacle of what we could do at that point in time. Uh, as far as a passive loudspeaker system. This status acoustics moniker, we're now incorporating these type of uh, high performance design characteristics into our new unrivaled line of loudspeaker products. And that's what we have shown here. So we have the unrivaled 8300, 6500, and 61. And you'll notice, of course, first off, the striking looks, the unique custom colors that are offered, the very highest grade of, of uh, paint finishes. Uniquely, we have on all of these products, what you see here, we call it the wing. It, not only does it add style to the speaker, but it is also uh, purpose built to be able to help reduce cabinet or enclosure resonances and damp those resonances. So it, it actually has a, a real acoustic purpose Functional as well. Functional purpose to the speaker uh -huh. as well. Yeah, and these can be passive and, and active. Yeah, uh, and passive or active, or active versions. Uh, as you know, uh, the version that we just uh, set up at your place, uh, the 8300. Yours is powered. Three-way amplifier inside, very high quality amplifier, uh, full range class D amps, and a, a very powerful DSP to do all the crossover work. Absolutely. So this is um, some of the unrivaled uh, towers. Again, this is the 8300, 6500, mm -hmm. and the 61. 61. You are standing next to our very top of the line flag flagship product, the SVTRS uh, Unrivaled Tower. This is unique in that it is, again, an active system. It doesn't have the amplifier built into the speaker, but it's separate amplifier components, three separate amplifiers, one for the woofer, one for the mid-range, one for the tweeter, and then a separate DSP crossover to do all the crossover work for the speaker. Very flexible in terms of uh, setting it up in a room, the different sound profiles, and uh, again, dialing it in to get the very most pristine, accurate sound possible. Incredible dynamic range in these loudspeaker systems. Of course, you can tell by yeah. the, the all of the cone area there that this speaker is not gonna have any problem filling very large rooms with an enormous amount of sound. Not only can they do those real loud dynamics accurately and at low distortion levels, these speaker systems are adept at producing the very finest details, even with low signal content. So when, you know, you're, you're barely driving the speakers with, you know, less than a watt of power, uh, you'll still hear those details in your sound uh, or in your content you're listening to because of the refinement of the driver designs. And this is a new exciting product here. So I know there's different ways that this can be set up, different configurations, different woofer sizes. So tell us a little bit about this newer product for RBH. Yeah, so the SFTR is essentially the smaller brother to the SVTRS system or the SVTR. Again, incorporates uh, essentially the same type of technology, the eight inch mid woofers, uh, actually a, a, a more recent eight inch driver that's tuned a little bit more specifically is a mid woofer driver. And then of course the same larger AMT driver that we're using in the SVTRS. On the bottom end, 
We have the uh, dual 12 inch drivers, similar to what we have here, but in this case, they are opposing one another. And that has some real advantages. Uh, not only can you get you know, similar base output to what you get with the larger tower in terms of frequency response, but opposing those drivers or having them uh, offset and opposed in the cabinet like this actually mitigates or reduces cabinet resonance because the drivers are essentially canceling in terms of what's happening the way they act on the cabinet. That helps in the design as well. But this speaker system starts with a passive version on the top and then an active version on the bottom. And then you can go beyond that. You can do a full active system as well where uh, the mid-range and tweeter are powered separately and use the DSP crossover. Blown away by the performance of these as well. Actually, Kenny played a, a mean trick on me because I'd never heard these before and <laughs> was playing content through here. Totally blown away to tell me that, hey, actually you were listening to the small ones all along. Yeah. <laughs> um, quickly, you could tell the horsepower behind these is just something that's more authoritative to the room. Yeah. Um, and once you experience that, you can kind of be like, okay, yeah, that's definitely a step up from here, but it's not too far behind. Yeah, it really isn't. Um, and with, this is a really large yeah, room. It's 20, 20 feet by 40 feet. So you do hear more of a difference with uh, the SVTRS or uh, SVTR speaker system just because it's designed to have even more dynamic range than this speaker system does in a very large room, but in a smaller to medium and, and even into larger I mean, rooms. This Without the, the direct yeah. comparison, you, you 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 wouldn't really notice the difference. Both of these speaker systems really have great extension. The in-room extension on this speaker system can dip below 10 hertz. It gives you a, a level of bass that oftentimes you don't get with even separate subwoofer systems. Right. Thanks Shane for showing us around here at the two channel setup space in RBH World Headquarters. We really appreciate you taking the time to show us around. If you guys have any questions on RBH sound, anything home theater, audio, video, feel free to reach out and give us a call. We have video consultation services at dreammediaav.com as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have more content on RBH coming out. Thanks again, Shane. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. This is Callan with Dream Media, Shane with RBH and we'll catch you in the next one.